This video will walk through how to find the variance and standard deviation when you have a list of raw scores instead of a frequency table. So again, we're going to use these two formulas. This is the variance, which is the sum of y minus y bar squared over n minus 1, and the standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance. So here we have how many slices of pizza people in the class think they can eat. We've asked 10 people, and these were their answers. So what we need to do is figure out what the mean is, what y bar is. So again, y bar, which is the mean, is the sum of all y's divided by the total number of people. In this case, that's going to be 2 plus 14 plus 4 plus 6 plus 10 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8 plus 8. So we got 66 is our total. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 people. All right. So that gives us a mean of 6.6. .6. So y bar is 6.6, .6. all right? Now what we need to do is we need to find y minus y bar. So we're going to set up a little table here. And we're just going to put these values, 2, 14, 4, 6, 10, 7, 5, 2, 8 and 8 slices of pizza. Y bar is 6.6. .6. Okay, so y minus y bar is 2 minus 6.6 6 is negative 4.6, right? 14 minus 6.6 6 is 7.4. 4 minus 6.6 6 is negative 2.6. 6 minus 6.6 6 is negative 0 0.6. 10 minus 6.6 6 is 3.4. 7 minus 6.6 6 is 0.4. 5 minus 6.6 6 is negative 1.6. 2 minus 6.6 6 is negative 4.6. And 8 minus 6.6 6 is 1.4. Okay, so that's our y minus y bar column. Now we need to do y minus y bar squared. So what we're going to do is we're going to square each of these numbers. So 4.6 times 4.6 is 21.16. Do this the easier way and use the squared button. 7.4 squared is 54.76. 2.6 squared. Uh, 2.6 squared is 6.76. So what just happened there is I did 2.6 negative and then press the square button. And that's giving me a negative number here. But you know that a negative number times a negative number is always a positive. So even if your calculator is telling you negative 6.76 in this y minus y bar squared section, always just put the positive version, okay? It's doing that because it's adding the negative sign after it squares it, which would be incorrect in this case. So 0.6 squared is 0 0.36, 3.4 squared is 11.56, 0 0.4 squared is 0 0.16, negative 1.6 squared 
is 2.56. 4.6 squared is 21.16. 1.4 squared is 1.96. And we have that twice. So in the version where we were doing this with the frequency distribution, we had to create another column that represented y minus y bar squared times the frequency. In this case, we don't have to do that because every single raw score in our data set is here, right? So there are 10 data points in our data set and there are 10 scores here. So each of these y minus y bar squared counts for every raw score in our data set. So we do not need to multiply by frequency in this case. Therefore, we can just add all these numbers up. And that gives us 122.4 for the sum of all y minus y bar squareds. So that's the top portion of our variance formula. So now we have 122.4 divided by n, which is 10 minus 1, so that's 9. So we're gonna take this number, 122.4, and divide it by nine. That gives us 13.6. This is our variance. And that's measured in square slices of pizza. So the average distance from the mean for this data set is 13.6 squared slices of pizza. But squared slices of pizza don't mean anything to us. So what we need to do is find the standard deviation, which is the square root of 13.6. And that gives us 3.69 slices of pizza. So for these 10 people in our data set, we know that on average, they think that they can eat 6.6 .6 slices of pizza in one sitting with a standard deviation of 3.69 slices of pizza. So that's working through variance and standard deviation when you have a list of raw scores instead of a frequency distribution. So I hope this helps. Happy practicing.